Ophelia, you've been on my mind, girl, since the flood. Oh, Ophelia, heaven help a fool who falls in love. This is looking out into the channel, looking over to Bruni. I think I'm looking probably east since the setting sun is behind me. Another magic day. This time I'm at Cockle Creek in uh, Research Bay. Stand shot there. The National Parks offices up there. You can go for a two hour walk around to the left up to another headland. But, uh, do that another day. I'm working now. But I've moved over here because we're getting some northerly and easterly breezes tonight, tomorrow. As I look to the northwest, well, I'm in seven meters of water here. Forty-five meters of train out, so I ain't going anywhere. And over there is the rest of Research Bay. And it's got a rock right in the middle of it. This is Research Bay, which is the lowest sheltered bay down the southeast corner of Tasmania. You leave here and you go around the south to Port Davy. And it's very nice tonight, it's just a very light southwesterly. And there's two yachts over that yonder.
And as I look to the north, there's a looks like a cray boat out there. And around to the west, there's a couple of cray boats, a yacht. On a Derwent sailing squadron mooring. Closest to me is Stan Pickering, another yacht. And just in the middle of the picture up yonder, there's a little cove in there, and there's a yacht in there. Very, very sheltered in there. But it's full of sand flies. So I'm not going there. This is my plan for the trip to Port Davie on the 17th of March 2021, but using different wind directions. A total of 70 nautical miles, about 14 hours. Well, I'm motoring between South East Cape and DeWitt Island, Matsuka Island area. There's no wind now, it's supposed to be northerly. If there is any, it's westerly, which is dead ahead of me. So I'm only doing three and a half knots in this rather bouncy conditions. This seems to be a, a southeast swell. It's mixed in with something else as well, so probably a bit of bouncing off the cliffs. Well, it's called to nine. Wednesday and uh, I've had quite a good breeze up till now and now it's just dropped out so we're floundering along again right in the middle of the screen there that's not shown on Navionics. Bit of a worry. But between here and DeWitt Island there's a, a reef called Navionics. It's about five meters deep. So I'm right on the edge of it. I've got 33 miles to go, so something like 6 p.m. tonight, if I'm lucky. around on my six year journey around Australia and that's the northwest corner of Tassie.
it's now 8.30 Thursday a.m. I left Port Davie an hour ago, heading north to Strawn. There's going to be a bit of a mixed bag of wind today, but later on this afternoon there's going to be some southerlies, I believe, to go right through the night. So we'll see how we go. It was a breeze, but now it's been protected by this headland to my east. So no doubt I'll get winds dead ahead of me when I get around the corner. But it's a bit of a glass out out here. As I look to the west, Hopefully the swell won't be too bad, but it should be in my favour, heading north. Well, I'm a couple of hours out of Davy and looking back towards Port Davy. There's a cray boat laying cray pots. Very hilly. Look into the sun to the east. And around to the north. Well it's now Thursday, 4.30 pm. And I've had a northwester all day. Got up to 13 knots. And now it seems to be dropping. It's down to 8 knots, goes to 6 knots down a little bit so this is the coastline in the distance north of low rocky point so it's quite a bit smaller coastline not nowhere near as high as down the south end it's been very pleasant got the motor back on now because it's only uh, six to eight knots so I've managed to have the both sails up all day and I'm probably a bit ahead of schedule looks like around about 3 a.m. so I might have to anchor at the entrance to to the uh, Hell's Gate to so I can go in at daylight Just had dinner and having a beer, so everything's wonderful. that's it that's it for another day as I pan around to the north and over there is the west there's a reasonable swell and it's crashing onto the rocks, sending spray up into the air. Anchored in Little Bay beside Hell's Gate, 3.15am. About three hours too early. So, I'll have a little sleep. <laughs> 